welcome back students in this video we will start with the ROM so if you look at the diagram we are having k number of inputs and n number of output so the size of the ROM is of the order of 2 to the power k into n where k is the number of inputs and n is the number of outputs uh, sometimes there would be a question coming in the exam like they would be asking you you have to calculate the size of the ROM so in those type of questions this formula would prove very useful now to understand how it works we will consider one example in this example what is given is uh, 2 to the power k into n we are implementing and we are having 5 cross 32 decoder so the number of input lines you can see here is 5 so we are having 2 to the power 5 into and n indicates number of outputs so how many outputs are connected here there are 8 OR gates so it is 2 to the power 5 into 8 so suppose they will ask you what is the size of this particular ROM so the answer is it is 2 to the power 5 into 8 that is 32 cross 8 ROM now if you will revise this slide that I had discussed with you you can see here if we are talking about the prom the AND array is fixed and the OR array is programmable now this thing must be in your mind while we are studying the prom so it means that in this particular design we have to remember that if we are talking about the prom AND would be fixed array of OR gates would be programmable now this is the internal diagram actually of the decoder so decoder means what uh, there are n number of inputs and there are 2 to the power n number of outputs now corresponding to 5 inputs there are 32 outputs so you can see here all the lines are given 0 1 2 3 then it continues and these are the last four states now what is important is you can see here these are all outputs connected here okay these are all, li all the lines are actually how many lines it continues it they are actually 32 lines okay up to this line it is 32 lines then the number of outputs given is 8 so these lines that you can see over here these lines are how many they are total 8 given now after we have connected these horizontal and the vertical lines now every point here is where actually we can program so these are all points which we can program so if we see for one particular line how many dots are here how many dots are for one particular line so it is nothing but 32 lines because we are starting from 0 and we are ending at 31 so there are 32 dots or you can say 32 inputs for a one particular line and how many are we having total 8 so what is 32 cross 8 it is equal to 256 so there are 256 dots actually available here and these 256 dots are available for you to program now wherever you want connection you can uh, leave it as it is and wherever you don't want connection you have to blow it away by providing a high voltage so this is how we are actually programming it now again if we analyze this diagram the portion that we are programming is what it is the array of OR gate that you are programming and where is the AND gate AND gate is inside this decoder because if you look at the combinational circuit of decoder it is nothing but it is made of AND gates only so the all AND gates are inside the decoder so you are not allowed to program that but what we can program is the set of OR gates now we will continue with the same uh, problem you can see here the five inputs that were given these are all the possible combinations of inputs starting from all zeros to all ones and these are suppose eight outputs that are being given to us now what uh, we can do is they all actually represent the different address lines now just to illustrate how we can store the data or how can we program uh, in this particular slide we are taking an example of address number 3 so you can see here 0011 that is 3 now corresponding to this 3 just note down what are the inputs of each and every OR gate so it is 1011 0010 
So you can see here the same data is given here 10110010. So the data given here is representing actually this particular row. Now how do you put it in the OR gate? So you can see here the OR gates are here. So you have to give it here 10110010. Now accordingly you can check this particular line. So wherever there is 1 you had to put a cross. So you can see here there is a cross wherever there is 1 there is a cross. Okay. So there also is 1. Now you can see wherever you are having 0. So what does 0 mean? 0 means no connection. No connection means there would be blank over here. Okay. Since there is no cross here again here and here there is no cross it means those values are 0. So, this is how uh, we had to represent the programming part of the OR array. There is one more example, this is example number 2. In this example, we will learn suppose there is some particular function given to us, how can we realize that function using PROM logic. Now, you can see here there is a truth table given to us and this is regarding 3 variables and 2 functions have to be implemented F1 and F2. Now, one approach would have been we would have used k map, we would have solved it, simplified it and then we would have done it with a lesser number of gates that was one approach. But in ROM what we follow is we do not use k maps. So, directly whatever is the truth table that would be implemented as it is. So, it means that if we have to implement F1 this whole truth table this whole column will be implemented. Now, you can see here if we look at this particular portion this is nothing but a decoder. Okay? This portion is nothing but a 3 cross 8 decoder and these points that you can see here they are all fixed you cannot program it like we have seen in the example number 1 and it follows a pattern like this 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 up to what up to 1 1 and 1. So, all these connections are fixed. Then if we see the next part, the next part is two outputs. The two outputs are F1 and F2. Now, this is the part where we can program. This is where you can see this cross uh, symbol. Now, what is F1 equal to? It is triple 1. If we look here, it is triple 1. So, starting from this is 0 0 0 and this is 1 1 1. So, you have to start from this side. It is 1 1 1. 0 0 I am looking at this particular column then it is 1 0 1 and what about F2 you can look at this particular column also it is 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0. Now accordingly you see wherever there is 1 you had to put a cross so you can see wherever there is 1 there is a cross and wherever you are having 0 wherever there is no connection that is 0 that time what you have to do there will be no cross. So, wherever there is 0 you can see there is no cross. So, this is the function f1 being implemented here and this represents function f2. So, again we see in this particular diagram the AND array is fixed you cannot program it however the array of OR gates can be programmed. So, in this way we have learned any function that is given to you be it 3 variables, 4 variables or even 5 variables whatever is the number of inputs does not matter we can implement it using PROM logic and the point is there is no need of any K map here there is no need of any uh, simplification. So, there is one important point as far as PROM is concerned it implements your function in the canonical form okay, without reducing it this is the disadvantage also because if we would if we would have solved it using k maps then maybe the number of gates might have reduced as well but that is something that we would uh, be doing in the pla and the other uh, designs of pld so in the coming video i will be discussing with you pla that is programmable logic array till then you can revise your notes and if you are having some doubts you can ask them in the comment section so keep revising god bless you all and thank you